Lieutenant, I have Martin Rome, 357 Court Street, right? Good enough. Age 29, appendix removed four years ago. Knife scar and shoulder, blood type A. No further record. No record. Shh. So boring. What do you want? For five years, he pulls every trick in the book. Tonight, he holds up a restaurant and kills a cop. No record. I mean medical, sir. you have to shoot? Why did you kill? I thought... I thought we could... Marty, does it hurt terribly? Kiss me. the police department on this, right? Right. Keep him alive and we'll give you a bonus. Shall I have his wife sign the release for the operation? Well, I don't think he has a wife. Oh, I thought that girl in there. What girl? Well, the girl's in there now. You sure you saw a dame? <laughs> Collins, I tell you this is a matter of a man's life. I've got to see him. But Dr. Williams is operating immediately. I can't let you go up. Hiya, Counselor. Lieutenant Collins. Well, Niles, I didn't know that chasing ambulances was quite near line. Please, this is serious. Is Martin Rome still alive? Just about. You've got to let me see him. He hasn't got a quarter. I'm not interested in defending a cop killer. I knew MacReady, too. Yeah. What do you want to talk to Rome about? He's dying. I want a confession from him. He can save an innocent man. A confession to what? His implication in the De Grazia case. The De Grazia case? Why, well, you're crazy. We're holding Whitey Liggett on that. All we need is to get... Oh. That's right. Liggett's my client. I admit it. And he's got plenty against him. But he didn't do the De Grazia job. And if I can talk to Martin Rome, I can prove it. Torturing old ladies? I don't think Rome goes in for that. Ten dollar, please. Time is precious. You know I wouldn't come over here in the middle of the night on a wild goose chase. This is a man's life. Maybe we better let him. Okay. If it's all right with the doctor, it's all right with me. It's in his hands now. Thank you. Rome. 
Can you hear me? This is Niles, the lawyer. Do you understand? I want you to concentrate just for a few seconds. Rome, they're holding Whitey Leggett. Whitey Leggett for the De Grazia case. He didn't do it, Rome. He did not do it. You know that. You can save him. Rome, you're in bad shape. You may not pull out. Don't go with this on your soul. Please, Rome. Just tell us you were in on the De Grazia case. Rome? You don't have to say anything, just nod. You killed her. Just nod. You killed Mrs. De Grazia. Rome, please, just listen to me for a moment, will you? That's all. He's unconscious again. But can't you? Just for another minute. Listen, sir, if we don't get your friend to surgery, he'll never come to. That's tough. I did my best. Did you catch what he said there? Why, I think he... I heard him. He told you to go fry. I think he meant it. If you want us to say that in court, we'll be glad to. Of course. Lieutenant, all ready for you. Thanks, Hubert. How you doing? Oh, I ain't kicking. Hey, how's that Marty Bone making out? Is he gonna live? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty rough after a couple of days, but I think he'll pull through. I see his mother heading for church every day this week. I think it has saved him some grief if he'd have broke. Maybe you're right, Julie. See you tomorrow. Take it easy, Lieutenant. Close enough? I haven't the strength. Miss Pruitt. Yes? Would you see if it's close enough, please? Nurse. Well? What do you want? Could I talk to you a minute? I thought I would tell you that uh, Rome's a pretty bad boy with the women. Just what has that to do with me? Oh, nothing, really. I just thought I would tell you in case... Look, Lieutenant. I've been working around here for a good many years, and I don't expect anyone to tell me how to care for patients. Oh, I beg your pardon. You should. <laughs> She's pretty hot, that Candela. Smart guy. We ought to throw you in a cell. Four bullet holes. Every place you look, a bullet hole. Even the doctor says he can't You're understand. looking for sympathy, Rome. Save it. I just left Mrs. McCready, the wife of the guy you killed, you murdering rat. She looked fine. Eyes all red, tears streaming down her face. And you lie here getting shaved. I ought to haul you out of that bed and beat Go your... Go ahead. Beat me, I'll die. Yell at me? I faint. You'll answer the questions I've got to ask you. You can drop that fancy lingo, see? Listen to me. Marty. Yes, Lieutenant. Is this your ring? Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. You got the rest of my stuff, too? Where'd you get it? How about it, Marty? Where did you get it? I don't know. Crap game two or three months ago. It's all right, huh? I do pretty good with the dice. Who from? From, uh, Pondfella. Yeah, with a droopy eye. Like it. Why do you like it? You wouldn't know we were holding Whitey Leggett on the De Grazia case, would you? Who else is in the game? Oh, I don't know. Tommy Mills, maybe? Tommy Mills is dead. Look, Candela, what are you asking me all this stuff for? I win a ring, so what's the difference? Come in, nurse. We'll only be a minute. Morty, this ring is part of the collection stolen from Mrs. DeGrazia. Not by me. A hundred thousand dollars worth, Morty. Maybe you read about it. Nope. We're pretty anxious to get whoever did it, Marty. They tortured the old lady until they found out where she kept the stuff. Then they strangled her. Not very pretty, huh? Well, you got Whitey Leggett, go talk to him. We will. We want to talk to you, too. Look, Candela, I shot a policeman. He shot at me. Now I'm going to the chair. 
Suppose I say I did it, so what? I go twice? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Besides, a fellow and his girl did the job. Uh-huh. So you do read the papers. You got a smart partner, Candela. Look, I never worked with a girl in my life. Talk too much. Yet at the yet at the. Morty, who was the girl that was here the night they brought you in? Girl? I thought it was a dream. There was a girl here, huh? Yes, Morty. Who was she? I don't know. I wish I did. What did she look like, Morty? An angel. I thought maybe... Maybe I was dead. All right, cut it out, Morty. Look, we found one of the Grazia rings on you. We know that the girl was here that night. Now, stop the monkey business and tell us who she was. I tell you, I don't know. I never saw her before. Okay, Morty. But you'll be seeing her again. Because we're going to find her. And don't think for a minute we won't. Come on, Collins. Here, take this. No. You've got to, here. Oh, I sooner die. Something heavy here presses on me. Your conscience. You hear those two? They say I tortured an old lady. Me, Martin Rome. Miss Pruitt, you're a nurse. You know people. Do you think I do that? You killed a policeman. He had me down. It was him and me. Miss Pruitt, you must do something. Do something for you? No, not for me. This is for a girl, my girl. Oh, no, wait, please. You heard the police. They said I had an accomplice, a girl. I swear to you, this girl is innocent. That she hasn't anything to worry about. But she has. She's a child. If they pick her up and the question is, she won't know what to do. She won't have a chance. Miss Pruitt, you've got to help her. You've got to. There's nothing I can do. I... Oh, but there is. Look. Her name is Tina. Tina Riconti. Not even the police know that. I'm telling you because I trust you. This is her address, 25 Bank Street. Where did you get the pencil and paper? Oh, please, just go to her. Tell her to go away. Tell her to hide. If Tell you think to... you can talk me into that, you're crazy. Oh, just see her. Look at her. You'll know. Here. Yeah. I have police permission to talk to him. Well, go ahead. Hello, Martin. How are you? Oh, fine. We go bowling, huh? <laughs> At least your mind's all right. Martin, I'm going to defend you. Why? <laughs> I think I can get you off. Yeah, you talk pretty good. I think I like this. How are you going to do it? Oh, there are angles. Self-defense. McCready's killed a couple of other men. I'll need your complete confidence, though. Of course. The DA thinks you were in on the DeGrazia case. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea to admit it. Why? That's the angle. Ah. The whole city's on the DA's neck over the DeGrazia case. Robbery and murder. For a confession, I think he might make a deal. Second degree. Second degree, huh? No chair. It's not bad. As long as you're alive, there's always probation. Might take time, but... Mm. But if I confess, so what? How am I going to prove it? I got no jewels. I don't know how the job was done. Mm. Yes. There's a chance I might get one or two pieces of it. I wondered why you came in the other night. You thought I was too sick to remember, huh? Tell him you did it, Rome. Don't go with this on your soul, Rome. I remember. To be bonti. Now, wait a minute, Marty. Go ahead, get out. Get out, you crook. You think I don't know you work for Whitey Leggett? You think I lie here and count my fingers? You think I'm gonna take a rap for you? Get out, go confess yourself. Don't get excited, Marty. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to pull that on you. Be practical, my friend. You're going to the chair anyway. You killed a cop. You can't beat that. Get out. Homicide is beginning to think you and your girl did the job. I got no girl, Niles. Of course you haven't. But what would you think of $10,000, Marty? If you had a girl, $10,000 would take her a long way. 
You haven't. So we'll give it to your mother. Think of it, Marty. Ten thousand dollars. Just for a couple of lines that don't mean anything to you anyway. I think I call that cop and have him throw you out. They're looking for that girl, Marty. Looking hard. Let him look. She must be beautiful, Marty. And you always could pick them. Dark, I bet. With a face like a Madonna. Huh, Marty? Niles. Young, too. Don't knock off that yapping. The police can't find her, Marty. But maybe we can. Maybe we can even make the police believe she did it. They might not. Not the way she is now, Marty. But if we worked on her for a couple of days, maybe she wouldn't be so sure herself. Maybe she wouldn't look the same. Maybe even you wouldn't recognize her. Maybe she would be. <laughs> find the figures correct, Senor Vassell. Certainly. Cash balance is $37.83. 10, 20, 30, 35. Oh, I, I took eight cents for car fare the last time. Please. Oh, prego. Society has instructed me as a president to thank you for your long and honorable service that you rendered to your, our organization. We hope, well, we hope sometime, Mario, my dear friend, I'm very sorry. Mama! Mama! Mama, policeman! Mi piace capirai quello che è successo, ma non è colpa mia. L'altra sera abbiamo avuto la riunione e si doveva stare. Lo tiene in candela. Hello, mom. This way, please. Hai caputo? Hello, candela. Ma sei lì? I'll be back in a minute. What you received? Thanks, mamma Roma. I can only stay for a few minutes. S'accomodi. Un momento. You keep company to the Lieutenant Candela. I will only take off my apron. Mama, you shouldn't have done that. Oh. You drink first. Always, Martino. 
He's all right, Mama. They moved him from the hospital today. Ooh. Yes, to prison. Oh. Vittorio, what will they do to him? Well, first he'll be tried, then... I don't know. Then? You know perfectly well, Mama, that he killed a policeman. Yes. I can't understand why he did it. Martin was always such a good boy. He sent me money every week. Sure he sent you money, Mama. But how did he send you money? What kind of work did he do? I don't know. I don't know. Martino is very smart, you know. Very smart boy. Very smart. Mm. But he should have married and settled down like you and Papa. Yes. Didn't he have a girl? Sure. Angelica Norelli. I made a contract with her father, Norelli. But, uh... Any other girl? No, no other girls. He liked Carmen Domingo. Hey, now! Well, he told me so. Well, I think I'll be getting along. Just one minute, Lieutenant Candela. Beh, lasciateci un po' soli, eh? Via, via, tutti quanti, fuori. Fuori, fuori di qua. Andate via. Via, Dizzy. Go back. Just take away, Papa. Come on, Natalia. Vittorio, please, tell me something. What are they going to do to him? Do you think Martino hey, will be... Mama, that Snoopy Candela's in the neighborhood. Don't tell him that... Hello, Tony. Don't tell him what? I'll tell you nothing, copper. Antonio, you talk politely to the police. Yeah. Excuse me, Tony, we know that that's... Lieutenant, will you see Martino? Well, I have... I hadn't planned to. Please, you, you give this for me. Well, Mama, I, uh... Please. Okay, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Madre, sorry. Now, just a minute, Mama. Did you put a saw in it? Oh, no, a, a little hot soup. And you tell him we all love him. Please, Vittorio, will you? Goodbye, Mama. You don't like it, huh? No, oh, it's fine, Mr. Ledbetter. When do you change the sheets? Decoration day? You want them changed, you gotta pay. How much? Deuce. Give you a buck. Two. I'll talk to the night man. Okay, wise guy. A buck. All right, you mallet head, what are you doing? Get moving. Crazy old cluck. Mallet head, cluck. Who does he think he's talking to? Every day he tells me that. I uh, don't let him bother you. He's a big boob. That's right, big boob. Call me a cluck. Hey, you're Martin Rome, ain't you? Yeah. You killed a cop, huh? Uh huh? I'm Orby. I'm a trustee. Hello, Orby. Want to break out of here, Marty? What? Break out. It's easy. This ain't no prison. Just a plain old hospital. You break out, that lead better gets blamed. And they throw him out, Marty, huh? They throw him out, huh? It's kind of tough, isn't it? Uh, it's nothing. You can do it, Marty. Look. How does it work? I'll show you. I've been here three months. They don't know I know that. Well, I got my keys, Lieutenant. Lock it, Ovi.
I'll only be a few minutes. Take your time, Lieutenant. Take your time. I'll leave the door open for you. Thanks. Some soup from your mother. Oh. Mama. How is she? How do you think? Yeah. How's Pop and the kids? Okay. I saw your brother, Tony. It's a great boy, huh? Yeah. I bet he told you where to head in. Great boy. He thinks you're a hero, Marty. Six or eight years from now, I'll be chasing him, too. Maybe. You'll have plenty of fun first. Do you think it's worth it, Marty? How much money you make, Candela? $94.43 a week. $94.43. Ah, don't go far. Ever go to Florida for a couple of weeks? You ever bet a hundred bucks on a horse? Or maybe give a girl a big bunch of orchids just because you like her smile, huh? No, but I sleep good at nights. <laughs> In some cheap room. And at me. I had enough of that when I'm a kid. Crummy tenements, no food, no clothes. Save it for the jury, Marty. Who do you think you're kidding? I was brought up in the district, too. I've heard that dialogue from you pool room hot shots ever since I was 10 years old. Get help. Only suckers work. Don't be a square. Stay with the smart money. Let the old man get calluses digging ditches. No food, no clothes, crummy tenements. You're breaking my heart, Marty. Okay, you played it your way, I played it mine. Think it's worth the chair? I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Maybe you won't mind. You'd be the center of attention. Me, I kind of think of afterwards. You know, when they slide that pine box through the back door, and somebody in the family has to identify before they can take it away. All right, all right. I do what I do, I get the chair. Nobody else. Yeah, what about the girl, Marty? What about... Oh, you mean the angel, huh? You mean you haven't found her yet? No. You look a long time, Candela. Stop clowning, Morty. Look, I'll play square with you. If you're shielding an innocent girl, tell me who she is. If her story checks with yours, I'll call the dogs off. There is no girl, Candela. OK. I'll have to keep on looking. It's kind of dull work. You certainly picked some pips. What do you mean? Well, how about this little number? Constancia Lopez. Well... Then Brenda Martingale. Oh, brother. She's not as young as she used to be. And Maria. Helen. Patricia. Rachel. Rosarita. Oh, Rosarita. She'd be a fine one to take on a job. They'd hear you in Newark. Yeah. One of them may be the one I want, Marty. You're crazy. Maybe. Guard. Come on up, Lieutenant. And there's Helena Andrea and Tina. Tina Riccanti. Know her, Marty? I don't know any Tina. I will. I'll tell you about it. You're wasting time. Now get your bucket and get out of here. Mr. Ledbury. All right. The guy 
guy number four. Yeah? I think he wants to make a deal for them cigars. you tried. I ain't got it anymore, Marty. Bump ticker. I tried it once, honest. But she just goes, bump, bump, bump. You ain't scared like that, are you, Marty? No. No, get out. Leave me alone, huh? Come on, come on. Get the lead out. Supposed to be out at 11. Name? Tony Garino. Brother, huh? Who wrote this for you? Must be a new guy downstairs. He writes like a three year old. Sign here. pass in at the end of the tunnel. I should wait for that joker. First visit, eh? Huh? First time here, isn't it? Yeah. I can always tell. Something about a guy's first time. Nervous or something. <laughs> I suppose so.
there, just a minute. Yeah. Okay, just a minute, I'll look it up. Lieutenant, we checked right after we got your call. And? About ten minutes ago, he asked the janitor for Tina Riccardi. Then he went up. Yeah. Cover all the exits? Are the best men in the precinct. Good. Got a dame on the second floor is going to give us a pitch when he leaves. Come on, let's go in and get him. That's it. He's coming out. his kid brother, Tony. I should have known he'd do something like this. Hey, looks like he's coming in here. Jim, watch him. He knows me. Right. Angelo, please. It's for you. Thanks. Yeah. Sono stato nell'appartamento in Banksville. Ma esso non c'era. Ho cercato di far parlare la perdona di casa, ma non mi ha voluto dire nulla. È la donna più crutina che ho mai visto in vita mia. Ho parlato con lei per più di un quarto d'ora. Ma è ripato meglio a parlare col muro. Quella là, o non ricordo nulla, o se ne infischia. Credo questa sia una buona idea, non ti pare? Ok, ok, hai caro, allora, see you later. Arrivederci. Piece of paper, Tony. What are you doing, trying to kill me? I'll be quiet. Algonquin 5502. There's a number missing. What is it, Tony? If I remembered it, I wouldn't have wrote it down. I don't know. Call them all, Jim. Huh? 55021, 55022, 55023. Look, I want a report of everybody living in that building across the street. Right. How about this? Take him home and have his mama to give him a good spanking. Algonquin 5501? 20. Oh. He should be here any minute. Well, that's all right. I'd like to get him to sign these papers so I can go to lunch. I'm really surprised he's so late. I'll sign them and uh, we'll both go to lunch. I'm sorry I'm late, Vera. I wanted to talk to the judge. Any calls? Nothing important. Well, Mr. Angelo's been waiting. Oh, yes, Mr. Angelo. Come right in. Oh, Mr. Niles. Yes? Did you want to sign these letters now? I'll only be a few minutes, Vera. Surprised, Mr. Niles? A little. But then you're a pretty fast worker, Marty. I'll push back a little, huh, Niles? There's too many buttons around there. Now, listen, Marty. Well, come in here and get tough. I do business with your kind every day. Tough? Who wants to get tough? This is business. You come to the hospital to see me, I come to see you. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that business about your girl, you knew that was just a bluff. Oh, sure. That was just a bluff. Hmm. That was a pretty good deal you made me, Niles. Oh? 10,000 would take me a long way. I think I signed that confession. Oh. That confession was only good while the cops had you, Marty. Oh. 
Not good now, huh? It's too bad. Then you just better loan it to me, huh? Loan it to you? Ten thousand dollars? Got no money. I... Well, I don't keep that kind of money here, Mark. But this will help. Maybe you got some more in the safe, huh? No. No, I never keep cash in the office. Let's open it and see. Well, let's stop this nonsense, Rome. I've given you all I'm... You! Listen, you! Let's open it, huh? There's nothing there but legal papers. Okay. Let's take a look. Take him out. Bring it here. the key. Come on, open it. See your jewels. Now I think we'll talk. Why did you like it in the girl? You ran the job. Who was the girl? I don't know anything about it. Niles. I kill a policeman. I kill you. It makes no difference. Marty. No. Come on, who was the girl? She was some friend of Whitey's. Some girl he knew in show business. I, I didn't know. I told him. What was her name? I tell you, I didn't even know. What's her name? given.
Mari, dinner is ready. Your leg hurts badly. Yeah, pretty bad. I guess I better get it fixed before... Wait a minute. You better eat first. I go on the corner of the drugstore. Tell him to get out before I come back. Respect the moment. This is my house. I gotta fix my leg, Mama. Get me some bandages, un guento, and a clean shirt. Yes. Get the scissors and cut off your bandages. Never mind, Mama. I'll do it later. Mari, why do you do these things? Oh, I don't know, Mama. You get going on something like this, you can't stop. Yeah. First the policemen. And now, now they say you killed another man today. It is true, Mari. Yeah. I killed him. I had to kill him. Why? Why must you kill Mari? Why? I can't understand. If you marry my first, the mio bambino più buono, the one who sent me money, the one I pray for every night, why must you kill Mama, don't! I loved you, Martino, more than the rest of them, because you were my first. You sent me money, but you never told me where it came from. I didn't ask. That was my fault. I knew, and here I knew, but I didn't ask. That was my sin. Mom, it's not you. I. I did it myself. I did it for a girl. Sure, sure, Mari. But you is always a girl. Mama, Tina's different. I love her. Can't you believe that? I love her. No. You don't love her. You have no feelings for the people. You only care for Mari. Mama. Mama, do you believe that I love you? And you must believe that I love this girl. She's my life, Mama. She's good and she's beautiful. And when a man tells me that he will hurt her, that he will give her to the police, this man I must kill. You understand, Mama? No. Love, I know. Love that has got to come through killing for love last. Mama, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you, you cannot kill. I tell you, you are bad, Martino. All right. I did it, so what? Can't bring a man back to life. Mom, I'm so tired. I'm so cold and my leg hurts. I've got to sleep and rest. I'll get your coat, Marty. The heavy one. Mom, I tell you, i got to sleep here. I'll bring you a coat. Because he said so, you were throwing me out like a... This is my home, too. There are other children. You must go, Marty. I'll bring you food and you will go. It's Tony. <laughs> How about that flatfoot? Twice around the block and he's walking in circles. What about Tina? Well, nothing except what I told you, Marty. Just that a dame came and took her away two days ago. No address, no nothing. But the woman, what did she look like? Well, I, I don't know. Kind of heavy and tall and, and middle-aged. Uh, a blue cape, I think the landlady said. <sighs> hey, what's the matter, Marty? Is that okay? It's okay, Tony. Good boy. Now get the scissors and we'll take the bandage off. Yeah.
Lieutenant Candela. This way, please. Hello, Mama Roma. I didn't expect you. Would you be seated? Let's sit in the kitchen, Mama. It's so much warmer out there. Besides, it smells so good. In the kitchen, Vittorio. You, you sit here. I'll bring you anything you like. Uh-uh. Mm. Oh, that smells wonderful, Mama. Buono, ma freddo. It's cold. I, I prepared it for Tony, but he's not home yet. Sit down. I'll give you a nice hot bowl of soup. I want to see Tony, Mama. I think I should talk to him. Well, why, sure. <laughs> sure. Has he been bad? No, not really bad. Not yet. Isn't that his cap? What? Oh, yeah, Tony's cap. That, that boy always goes out without a hat. Here, good and hot. I'm sorry, Mama, but I've got to look around. Don't move, Candela. Put your hands on the table. Stand away, Mama. Tony! Get his gun. Stay where you are, Tony. There won't be any shooting in this house while Mama's here. I'm disappointed in you, Marty. You're a big boy now. You're a pretty funny fella. You don't think I'll shoot? Just make a move, Candela, we see. So that's your hero, huh, Tony? Breaks out of jail, fools the cops. Talks big with a gun in his hand. Well, look at him, Tony. His legs shot full of holes, fever going up. No place to go, no place to sleep. Just run, run, run till he can't run anymore. Escape. Escape to where? Look at him, Tony. He's a dead man. <laughs> Make an Italian a cop, he's got to make a speech. Okay, Candela. Maybe you catch me, maybe you don't. Arrivederci. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> you big, stupid cop. Well, you got her crying. It'll be better if she only cries for one of you. Yeah? Well, he got away, copper. He won't go far. Sit down, Tony. I want to talk to you. Sit down! given, eh? If she was in show business, we got her, honey. How about a couple of new poses for you? Not for me, Mike. I gotta eat three times a day. Split weeks got me down. Yeah. Business ain't like it used to be. Rose Given. A singer, I bet you. Gracie, Sisters and Lynch. A great act. Next to closing. I followed them once in Sheboygan. Gardner and Harris. Three Graces. Given. 
Rose Gibbon. Ah, Rose Given. It's only a ne it's only a negative. I can make you a print in a couple hours. I'm in a hurry. You got her address, Mike. Sure. I remember her now. Terrific set of pipes. The loudest voice you ever heard, alto. She couldn't carry a tune in a wheelbarrow. Come on, Mike. I'm in a hurry. You got the address. I should have it if she ordered more. I can't tell. 1933. Picture's 15 years old. She may be dead. I don't think so. Rose Given. Rose Given. Ah! Madame Rose. Now we're getting somewhere. Madame Rose. Here it is. Madame Rose. Swedish massage. Madame Rose. Thanks very much. Listen, Mike, I'll come over sometime and buy you a drink. Anything for a lovely girl like you. Oh, go on. Marty, here. Hey. Hey, what's the matter, Marty? Oh, I fell asleep. I found her. Oh. Madam Rose. Good, good girl. Take me up there. I can't keep driving her around. They'll catch us. They'll pinch me with you, Marty. Take me to Rose Gibbon. No, you said I could go as soon as I found her. You promised me, didn't you? Hey, Marty. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, Marty, don't. You'll get us both in an awful mess. Marty! What am I going to do? Stay here. Is it bad? Is he gonna die? I don't know. Keep quiet. Just drive. But I can't just drive around. Somebody's gonna see us. I have no license to practice. We cannot stop. You must drive. I'm sorry. These are bullet wounds. You did not tell me. I was scared you wasn't going to come. It's against the law, whatever I do. But this, this will cost you more. I need money, 200. All right, I don't care. He's got it. He has torn these wounds by moving. They fester. He must be in bed. Can you fix them? Only for a short time. He must get treatment. I must have light. Quickly, pull in. But I can't. They'll see us. Pull in. You want him to die? Pull in somewhere. His color. No, I don't have any brandy. My wife is sick. I gave it to her and forgot it. I need some spirits. Spirits? Whiskey, brandy, anything. Quick. Hurry. All right.
Well, hello, little lady. Get lost. Will you give me a double brandy? Double? Well, that's a girl after my own heart. <laughs> you and I could go places together. Make mine double, too, pal. The lady has made an excellent suggestion. No, 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 no. This is on me. Drop there. Will please hurry? Please. Yeah, yeah. Junior, why don't you be a nice boy and beat it? That's no way to talk to a fella. What's the matter? Your boyfriend pass out? Look, Bob, you're a little overtrained, aren't you? Why don't you get out of here before I lose my temper? All I want to do is help. If the guy is folded up. Look, honey, you really want to help me? Well, I left my purse in the bar. Why don't you go in and get it for me? If you like it. Anything to be of service to a lady. How is he? You're all right for the time being. Come on, um, 200. What am I going to do with them, Doc? Good night. Hey, what did you say you lost? Marty, you're not going to fold up again, are you? No, I'll be all right. I'll get in touch with you. I'm sorry, we're closed. You Rose Given? I've got to talk to you. I said we were. You're Martin Rome. Come in. My apartment's in back. You wanted to talk to me, Martin? Say it quickly. The police may be after you. No. Uh, I think we can do business. I don't think so. Oh, yes, we can. You were in on the Grazia case with Whitey Leggett. That's ridiculous. You ought to know better than to walk in here and try to bluff me like that. I'm glad you killed him, Martin. He was a bad man. Very bad. And he shouldn't have told you that about me. He wasn't so bad. He gave me the De Grazia jewels. How do I know? Pearl choker with a ruby pendant. Seven rings. 
Diamond bracelet with the clasp broken. You must have been in a hurry, huh? Where are they? In a locker in a subway station. I thought if you went to all that trouble to get them once, you may want to get them again. <laughs> You're a cute little man, Martin. I should have worked with you instead of that fool Leggett. Someday, you can tell. How much do you want for the jewels, Martin? A car, $5,000, a way out of the country, and a good night's sleep. That's a big order. It's a lot of jewels. I can take them someplace else. I could get you the car, maybe 2000 Five. But how could I get you out of the country? How are you going to get out? Or were you just going to declare it on your income tax? All right, Martin. South America suit you? Any place but the canal zone. Let's get the jewels. Not till tomorrow. Tonight I've got to sleep. If I can. That's right, Martin. Relax. Here. I'll show you something. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. It is good, isn't it? I have a touch. It's only given to a few. It's a matter of knowing the currents of the body. And I waste this on fat old women who think they can lose a few pounds and be beautiful again. Fat old women who have too much money and too many jewels. They think the jewels make them beautiful, and they fight to keep them like they fight the years that make them ugly. Give me the key to that locker, Martin. You don't think I'd bring it with me, do you? No. I suppose not. You're too smart for that. Lie down, rest a while. I'll get you a blanket. Cream of sugar? Black Bull's up. For the love of Pete, it's four o'clock. Let's knock off. I'm sorry, Jim. Why don't you go on home? It's just a job. We'll get him. We can't miss. I want to get him, too. It's only been out a day, and already you're making a vendetta out of it. You saw his kid brother today. He thinks it's a big game. They all do. They got an idea. A cop is somebody who pinches apples off of a push cart and chases kids. And they make a Robin Hood out of a cheap hoodlum like that. The longer he's loose, the bigger hero he is. Okay. Let's face it, we ain't Sherlock Holmes. This is a big town. We gotta sit tight and wait for a break. Staying up all night ain't gonna help it. Say, lady, why do you stay up all night? I beg your pardon? Okay, no offense. Just wondered why you weren't home getting some sleep. He's out there somewhere. In an alley. On a roof. Looking for a way out. He's not asleep. Eat, Martin. You need your strength. I don't like to eat in the morning. Let's get going. Only five minutes to nine. Thanks, I wrote me up. Ask the coffee. It's good. You got a touch with that, too, huh? Yeah, I like to cook. I wanted those jewels so I could get a place in the country. Fresh eggs every day. Milk, cream. Oh, stop it. How long will it take you to get the money and the tickets? Half. Three quarters of an hour. Then get them. Meet me on the corner of 22nd Street and 4th Avenue in 45 minutes. And don't forget, 5,000. Certainly, Martin. See that you don't lose the key to that locker. And don't use the front door. I wouldn't want to give the place a bad name. 
No. If I thought he was going to kill somebody, I wouldn't have shown him. Honest, I wouldn't have. Oh, you're lying, little... Shut up, Ledbetter. Harvey, did he say where he was going or anyone he was going to see? Nothing, Lieutenant. Honest, if, if I knew, I, I'd tell you. Are they going to give me more time for this, Lieutenant? Are they going to give me more time, huh? I'm afraid so, Harvey. I'll give you a life. Jim. Yeah. Find out anything? Not a thing. What's this? Stuff on the dance. What? It's a report on Rome's dames. Oh, we got all those doctors ready for you. You really like to play long shots, don't you? Bring Sullivan with you. Hey, listen, Lieutenant, this is costing me my job. Isn't there something you can do? You were in charge of the war at Ledbetter. There's nothing anybody can do. Come on, Sullivan. 20 years out of my life. So long, Cluck. help you guys as much as I can. Fine, let's go. But I got a job. I'm late now and the boss doesn't like okay, it. Okay, Sullivan. I'll write you a note and give you an apple for it. At 2.30 this morning in a car on 54th Street, a man with four bullet wounds received emergency medical treatment. A licensed physician in this city is bound by the law to report any such treatment to the police. Lieutenant, uh, if I am permitted, I speak for my colleagues. We are doctors, yes. I know, Doctor. I don't like this any more than you do. I realize that certain of you gentlemen have very high reputations in your own countries. However, you're not licensed to practice here. And this is a murder case. Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan, do you recognize any of these gentlemen? Well, turn around. No, I don't think so. Rome, I'm sure of, but the other guy was in the shadows, and, well, uh, I'd had a couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gentlemen, I must ask you all to show me your wallets. May I be permitted to say, sir, this is very humiliating. I'm very sorry, Doctor, but I must do it. This money came from the safe of Arthur Niles, the lawyer that Martin Rome killed yesterday. Lieutenant, I didn't know he's a murderer. I only... Come with me, Doctor. Jim, let the rest go. You ready to tell me about it? Please, Lieutenant, I do not know anything about this man. I treat him, they pay me, that's all. What about the girl, Doctor? The girl? I do not know her. I never ask for names. She's blonde. My wife, Lieutenant. She's sick. We need money. Otherwise, I would never, never... Do... I'm sorry. Sign this. They put me in jail. You knew it was against the law. We must. Paul? My wife, Lieutenant. We'll do all we can. She'll be all right. Headquarters. We just got the report on Tina Riccati. Two people saw a woman take her out of the apartment. Middle-aged, tall. How about Brenda? They get her yet? Oh, 
Give him a chance. They only got the call ten minutes ago. Candela, homicide. Yeah? Hello, Morty. Where are you? Just this call. No use tracing the call, Candela. I won't be here. What's on your mind, Morty? I call you up to give you a big promotion, Candela. Well, that's very nice of you, Morty. Ah, uh, don't get sarcastic. I'm doing you a favor. I'm giving you the woman in the Grazia case. You can pick her up within the next 20 minutes at the 18th Street subway station on the west side. She'll be taking the stuff out of a locker. Well, aren't you going to thank me, Candela? No? Arrivederci. Morty. Morty, I... Call and get somebody on that subway platform right away. You think it's on the level? Sure. What do you think that Niles business was for? Come on. We'll have him radio as that tracer call. <laughs> Here it is. The key, Martin. Ticket and the money. It's on the Star of Asia, leaving Key West on Friday. If you leave tonight, you'll have plenty of time. Come on, give me that. First, we get the jewels, Martin. Get out. Want any monkey business, Martin? Get out. You're crazy. I'll be spotted down there. Get out. And walk just ahead of me, Martin, and don't try to get smart. Spot me, they'll take you too. Where's the locker? Don't try anything funny. Lieutenant Candela. Oh, speak to the floor nurse right there. Yes? I'm Lieutenant Collins, homicide. I understand Lieutenant Candela's been asking for me. Asking for you? He nearly yelled the building down. We had to get the interns in to administer the sedative. He don't know when he's well off. Put me in that bed, it'd take the fire department to get me out. How is he? Well, he lost a lot of blood and they had to probe pretty deeply. But he'll be all right. He's probably still sleeping. We had to give him a heavy shot. You don't look like you need one. Sorry. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Candela. Lieutenant! He's gone! What do you mean, gone? 
His clothes are... Well, his hat's here, but where could he... Oh, that crazy. What time did you check him last? 4.30. I looked in. He was sleeping. 4.30? That's an hour ago. Holy smoke. But he just couldn't get up and walk out of here. He didn't have the strength. Oh, he didn't. You're lucky he didn't go out through that wall. Hello. Hello. Police headquarters. What time is it now, Mother? For heaven's sake, Francis, you've asked me that four times in the last Mother, ten Mother, would you just please tell me what time it is? Well, if you're going to adopt that tone... Mother, I've been on my feet all day at the hospital, and I'm in no mood to argue. I'm getting to be a burden to you. I can always leave. Oh, she's back. There are homes for people like me, and I can... Tina. Tina Lucanti. Where is she? I... I don't know what you're talking about. The only one that could know where she is. Where is she? Now listen here, Lieutenant. I told you, Francis, no good would come of bringing that girl here. Mother. She's been nothing but trouble ever since she came. Taking my room. All right. So I did have her here. But she doesn't know any more about that jewel robbery than I do. The poor kid. Look, Miss Pruitt. Rome's a murder. Tina's his girl. If you ever want to see her alive again. But I told her not to go. I begged her. But Tony said he needed her. Tony? Yes. He said Marty was hurt and that he wanted to see her just once more. He said she had to come. Where? Oh, I don't know. To a church somewhere. He said... Church? Marty had to hide until it got dark. Church? inside, Marty. Good boy. Look, Tony, I'm going to need you to drive. I'm taking you with me. Uh, Marty, I don't think I ought to. What's the matter? The cops scare you last night? Look, we need money and fast. You know where Mama keeps the money on the shelf in the kitchen? Marty, I can't take that. Why not? Well, that's all they've got. So what? Gave it to him, didn't I? Now I need it. Get it and get back here in 10 minutes. Get it, I said, and don't waste any time. No. I've got my car outside. We'll go now. Nobody can stop us. In a couple of days, we can be out of the country. We'll go away someplace, and nobody will ever find us. Marty, I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of. They're not after you. I fixed that. Oh, it isn't that, Marty. It's you. You've changed. Changed? Why? Because of Niles? He threatened you, Tina. I had to. But the policeman. That was self-defense. Don't think about it. Now it's gone. It's past. We'll go away and forget all about it. We'll get out of this crummy town, huh? We love each other, Tina. We can be happy, you know we can. Oh, Marty, I... I can't. It... it isn't right. I can't. <laughs> Don't. It's all right, I understand. I shouldn't have asked you. It's just that you were the only one left. The rest don't count. Even my mother turned me out. But you, Tina, I've kept you in my heart always. Wherever I went, you were my strength, Tina. Without you, I'm empty, finished, dead. Oh, please, Marty. Don't torture me. Then come with me. You're my life. I'll do anything in the world for you. Come. No, don't go with him. You won't need that, Marty. I came alone. She only nicked you, huh, Candela? It's too bad. I'm going out of here, and she's coming with me. You may be, Marty, but not the girl. Not when she knows about you. She knows about me. And she's coming with me. You told her, eh? For confession. This is a good place. You told her everything? 
Yeah. She knows. She knows that you killed two men. But does she know about the others? Does she know about Harvey, the poor little cracked trusty, who'll get five years for helping you break jail? Does she know about Brenda, the girl that sheltered you? She'll serve time, Marty. So will that doctor with the sick wife. You forgot all about them, didn't you? No, he didn't forget them. He didn't even think of them. He used them and brushed them aside, just like he used everybody he's ever known, including his own family. And he'll use you, too, if he has to. You lie, Candela. Do I? He says that he loves you. Maybe he does. As much as he could love anybody. But if he really loved you, would he ask you to share the kind of life he's got to live? The law doesn't want you, Tina Vilcanti. Go home. Tina. Not you, Marty. You're going with me. You want to die, Candela. Here. Now. I warned you, Rome. I've got a gun, too. I've been lucky. I've never had to kill a man in my life. But I'll get you, Rome. You because I've got to. You're bluffing. You got no gun. Go ahead. Call my bluff. You shoot? Here in church? I think I'd be forgiven this time. I know better. There won't be any next time. You're done. You're bleeding, Mandela. You sprung a leak, huh? I'm all right. Let's go. She hurt you good, huh, Candela? Let's go. No. You ought to sit down. Rest a while, huh? In the name of the law, Rome. Stop!
he's dead. I wanted to tell him I could bring the money. He sent me home to get it. I couldn't take it. I wanted to tell him. Help me, Tony. 